Welcome back to the Statesman Insider. I'm Lori Beth Milson here with assistant coach Greg Long. Greg, we had another great win tonight. The girls off the bench were another big component of this win. Talk a little bit of what they do for the Lady Statesman. Oh, they were huge tonight for us. What they have, 28 points, I think, off the bench. You know, the last two games, you know, we've seen, you know, these these young kids come off the bench, freshmen and Brook Rhodes and Aubrey Ray. You know, tonight and your sophomore, you know, Cola Brown was just awesome. You know, Tanisha Henderson and and Amber Poe, the juniors. You know, they did a great job. You know, of getting us over the hump, and we were we were kind of stagnant there. And it's great to see our bench come along at this time of the year. You know. They're more important now, you know, than ever for us. Uh, Tamara Reed, senior, you know, coming off the bench tonight, she was fantastic, fantastic. You know, she got out there. She was a vocal leader tonight. She did the little things. Uh, you know, she she did what she needed to do as a senior, and uh, she played a role great. And it was just tremendous watching her out on the court tonight, working with that young group. Going back to the seniors, Mo Bell was able to achieve her thousandth point tonight. This is the third current player on the team right now to, to get in the thousand point club. Talk about her and, and what she was able to accomplish tonight. Mo Bell did a great job. You know, she uh, she knew that she was six points away, you know, coming into this game. Uh, and I think she let the game come to her. You know, coach ran a play for her, you know, and uh, she finally got one off. It was a good shot and she nailed it. And, and uh, teammates got to come out on the court and celebrate with her a little bit. Uh, just very, very happy for these young ladies. You know, Bug Cooper, it's able to accomplish. I think, what, Bug was 32 and, and Mo is 33. Yeah, I mean, just that's just a great thing for their careers and something that they can leave Delta State as seniors saying that, you know, that they accomplished that. Not a lot of people get to accomplish that, but, you know, hats off to Coach Rushing for bringing uh, three young ladies in. You know, and thank God we still have Veronica Walker next year. You know, for Bud Cooper and, uh, and Mo Bell, the seniors' years, you know, hitting a thousand points. I think it's just a great testament to the senior class and and uh, to the Lady Statesman program. Speaking of those seniors, we're going to have Senior Night Saturday at Sillers Coliseum. Talk about how special this particular Senior Night is going to be. Uh, it's going to be very, very special. Uh, we have five seniors graduating. You know, three of them have been here for all four years with Coach. One of them has been here for three years, and Shamika Russell. Uh, and Sheena's been here for this last year, you know, first senior year. But, you know, Bug Cooper, Tamara Reed, and, uh, and Mo Bell coming in as freshmen. All five of those young ladies, you know, whether they've been here for four years or one year, they've had a tremendous impact on this program. And it's going to be very emotional. So... I'm sure I'm probably going to have to sit coach down and let me coach for a few possessions, but uh, but it's, you know we're we're excited. You know it's we're very happy for these young ladies. They're all going to graduate. They're all you're going to get a, a, an education to uh, to go on into life, and uh, but it's just words can't describe it. This is a great great group of young women, and uh, I'm just happy to be a part of it. Standing by with the newest thousandth point member is J T Webb with Mobile. Thanks, Lori Beth. Back here now with senior guard Mobile, who tonight became the 33rd person in Lady Statesman history to go for a thousand points. And Mo, right at a thousand points tonight in the second half. I, what kind of feeling did you have when you let that ball go and you saw it go in? Well, I, my girl has been all over me all game, and I saw her run on this side of the court, so I decided to run away from her to try to get a shot off. So uh, I was just glad I, it happened. It's over with. You know. Let's, get on the road and win the conference tournament so I know you have a, a lot of basketball left in you here at Delta State but did that help four years of memories go by really quickly when you were out there hugging all of your teammates yeah it was great I um I just I'm thankful for all my teammates that you know they wanted me to get the thousand points and they were looking for me all game and they were excited so you know it really means a lot and it really sums up my career here at Delta State for four years yeah. And I know another thing, I talked a lot with your parents last year about your journey coming up through through junior basketball and then high school and then playing softball, how much they traveled with you and followed you around. That has to mean a lot too, just so you can talk with your parents about something that they've shared with you for so long. Oh yeah, I have a um, great supportive family, uh, extended family. Uh, I'm just real blessed that they can make all the games and they're healthy enough to travel and you know, my mom and dad usually, I don't know, my, my mom might have missed two games in my whole career due to weather. So it's, um, you know, I, I can't be thankful enough for her and 
for her and my mom and dad. You know, my mom and dad just being there for me and, um, you know, it just means a lot. Now let's talk about a very fun place for you coming up very soon, the DeSoto Civic Center, where you hit a meager 10 three-pointers last year against West Alabama to break the GSC tournament record and a Delta State record. So a fun place for you that we're heading back to. I'm excited about conference tournament. You know, this is a – this is a time where you know you really bring it all together and uh, show what you got. So I think it's going. I'm looking forward to next week and um, love the Civic, the Civic Center and just being in South Haven and being great hotels. So it's it's going to be a fun week. And I I know that we played a lot of basketball here lately, but that's what everyone has done here in the West Division. Is the most important thing to be able to keep from being fatigued and try to block that out of your mind. Oh yeah, I mean everybody's tired at this point of the year it's just you got to gut you know gut it out and you know like I said it's it takes all five players not one person's going to do it and it's really it's going it's going to be a battle but it's who's toughest mentally and um just got to bring it next week. Mo thank you for your time and I've enjoyed watching you for the last four years. Thank you.